Hi, in this Unity tutorial, we're going to learn how to use wait for seconds. Wait for seconds is something we use to find out who likes olive oil. So when I press play, I've just basically kind of put a canvas here with some UI elements of some text and an image. But what I want to do is I want to show the second image of who likes olive oil after three seconds. All right, so first thing I have here is an empty controller object and for which I don't have any script or anything. I'm going to add a script, okay, and I'll just call the script controller so it matches up with the name of its parent there. And now I'm going to go to that script, open it up, and I'm going to write some code, all right. I have our default script show. I'll just increase the size of the font so you guys can see it. And I'm going to just write the code from scratch myself. Um, the first thing I want is a pointer to olive oil. And the second thing I want is a pointer to the second character. All right, so I'm going to have two public variables. Game object, um, olive oil. And then the second one game object, second character. We don't know who that is. Okay, now with those two public variables, oh, I don't think you start with a letter, with a number. I'll just say character for the second one. Save that script. And now here, since those are two public variables, they should show up in the inspector. And I could set olive oil. And I could set the second character right here okay good so the first thing I'll do is in the start function let's just make sure the second character private void start let's make sure olive oil dot set active let's hide her all right when the when the thing starts let's hide everybody and character dot set active false and that will turn off both olive oil and the second character which is already off but here we go oh did i press save i gotta make sure i press save save there the little star is gone and then i come back here and it's processing and now if i press play no characters should show all right so let's see i want to do a function here for public I mean this could be private it doesn't have to be seen outside the script private void um, show characters okay and let's see first we want to show olive oil so we'll say olive oil dot set active true all right and then we want to wait a couple of seconds this is just a comment and it's a comment because I put these two lines here and also the compiler knows it's a comment since it turned green when you have these two lines you could type whatever gibberish you want it's not going to mess up the compiler because it's just a comment for the programmer to read then after it waits a couple of seconds let the person try to guess who the character is I'll say character dot set active true and I'll show who the second character is so if I press play right now, it's going to show olive oil and then something here, I want it to wait a couple of seconds and then I want it to show the second character. So let's see um, when it runs this command and this command, is there any time between the two? There's not going to be because there's nothing there for the computer to tell it to wait. So if I press play, it's going to show the character right away. Let me just press play now. And they both hide. Hmm. Okay. And I have to call this function show characters. Copy from my start. So they both hide. And then I'm going to show the, I'm going to call show characters. All right, guys, can you guess who olive oil, who likes olive oil? We're going to find out. And press play. And it's Porky the Pig. <laughs> 
All right, but he showed up right away. See, if I press play, as soon as the game starts up, bam, he showed up. We didn't get a chance to wait a number of seconds. So what we want to do is we want to have a function that's going to wait a couple of seconds before it shows. So I'm going to make another function. It's going to have to be of type i enumerator because anything that has the um, wait for seconds functionality, the type has to be i enumerator. And then I'm going to call this one wait before show. All right. And right here, um, inside the i enumerator, right now it has a squiggly because it needs the wait for seconds thing in it. So the wait for seconds thing, the format is yield return new. And then you can call wait for seconds. Oops, wait for seconds. And then you give it a number of seconds, and I'll say five seconds. Okay. So before the five seconds, right away, I'll come back and I'll just show olive oil. So I'll just copy that line right here to show olive oil. And then after five seconds, I'll do the thing where I show we know who it is now, the character that likes olive oil, Porky the pig. Okay. So that function's written. The only thing is we have to call it. So here, when we called show characters, it was just a straightforward call to a function. I'm going to comment that out. And now we're going to call wait before show. When we call wait before show, since it's an I enumerator, we have to start a coroutine. A uh, coroutine, there it is, to call it. And then the parameter of the coroutine is the enumerator, which we have as wait. We called it wait before show. Okay, we give it a name of the function, wait before show. So to use wait for seconds, there's three things we need. We need to call the wait for seconds routine by calling start coroutine and providing the name of the function. Then the name of the function here, wait before show, it has to be of the type i enumerator instead of void. So can I do this private just so everything matches up? It has to be a type i enumerator. All right, so now I'm going to save. There's a little star there. Let me save my script changes. And let me go back over here and let's see what happens when I press play now. So first olive oil should appear right away. One, two, three, four, five. And then Porky should appear. Boom. Okay, so um, that's how you use wait for seconds. There you go.